Welcome back to Kicking It with Kathleen. Thanks for your comments and feedback. And please remember to keep those questions coming for use in future videos. Okay, today I wanna to spend some time to remind you of our goals. We are planting seeds and helping them grow. So let's take a look at our graphic mnemonic device here created by our very own Kathy Hansen, Keys Director. G stands for Grading Initiative. This year we're working on developing a mastery-based grading system at all levels. You may already be doing this in your classroom or with your students, but we will be creating some guidelines and best practices for implementation next year. R stands for Roots. How are you preparing the soil to ensure that lifelong learning is achieved with your kids? This is more than skills attainment. It's an attitude about learning and experience in moving through the sometimes frustrating process of learning new things. O stands for one. We are a school of one. Every child's an individual and must be supported from wherever they are. So we're working to provide a circle of support for each student. That circle includes the instructional support team, guidance counselors, special ed staff, ACEs, and of course the classroom teacher. How do we work together to ensure success for all kids? W stands for wonder. This place is an amazing place. The world is amazing and we need to engage every student in the wonder that, of the world around them. We do this through using the community as the classroom, allowing for interest-driven learning, self-selected projects, and relevant connections to real world situations. So. Now that you've been reminded of our goals, I want to spend a moment to update you on the progress for our grading initiative. We have developed several committees, including the communication committee. How will we communicate this shift and persuade all of our stakeholders of the importance of the new grading? Curriculum instruction, what changes need to be made and how are we going to support our teachers in making these changes? Reporting, nuts and bolts of report cards and transcripts and inadequate progress uh, reports professional development, training our teachers, and ninth through 12th grade transitions, since that's gonna take a little bit. We have developed some non-negotiables as jumping off points. One, we are gonna use a four point grading rubric for all classes. Two, we're gonna ret 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 retain a traditional ninth through 12th grade transcript. Three, no letter grades in grades K through eight. Four, we're gonna fix the traditional grade grading scale, which heavily weights zeros a lot more than they should be weighting. And five, we're going to allow for uh, retakes and redos for our learning uh, without penalty to the student, because not all students learn at the same pace at the same time. So if you're asking yourself, how can all this be fair? I'd like you to take a look at my recommended video clip below by Rick Wormelli. He's a guru of mastery-based grading, and I think you will enjoy his uh, specific examples and his persuasive comments on how uh, allowing for redos, retakes, and um, multiple attempts at mastery is actually really a great thing for our students. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.